Welcome to another picks video by Quincy Bell. This might be my first college basketball picks video. Don't do much basketball picks besides like the bracketology and obviously the tournament picks. But I want to do more of these, and we have a good one for you today. The ACC Big Ten Challenge. Yes, this is a favorite of mine. I always look forward to this on the college basketball calendar. Um, always a fun time in the Big Ten ACC Challenge. Um, every Big Ten team will be playing an ACC team. There are seven games on Tuesday and seven games on Wednesday. Um, we have four Ranked matchups and one, two, three other matchups featuring a ranked team. Both these conferences are dominant in the sport of basketball. I am a fan of a Big Ten team. They're right there. They're about to lay some. We're about to lay a beat down on Virginia. But let's look at the board. Isn't it beautiful? It is just so beautiful. Uh, no face cam. Uh, for this, but you'll you'll get to hear my beautiful voice. So let's start with our game picks. The first one, the Boilermakers of Purdue traveling to play Miami. Oh, by the way, the way the challenge usually works is like the best Big Ten team plays the best ACC team. Like that's like preseason. Like I think Duke and Illinois are, were projected to win the Big Ten and the ACC respectively. So they played each other, whereas Northwestern and Pitt or projected to finish last. That's why they're playing each other. So that's sort of how this works out. But Miami and Purdue, um, I want to spend more talk, time talking about some more relevant games. I think the Hurricanes should have an easy time with this game. They're at home, and Purdue has not looked great throughout the year. They got Sasha Stefanovic. She's my friend's cousin. But um, they've got some good players, but they got to travel all the way down to Miami. I think that it'll be a rough time for Purdue. Boston College of Minnesota. This is a close one. I like what I've seen out of Boston College. Hung in there with Virginia. Hung in there with Florida. Minnesota, I've got some questions about them. This will be a close one. This will come down to the wire. I'm going to take the Eagles of Boston College on the road. We've got 2-0 two, two for the ACC. North Carolina and Iowa. I have serious questions about Iowa. Is Luka Garza going to be able to carry this team night in and night out against some of the best competition in all of the country, and he'll have his first big test today against the North Carolina Tar Heels. This is going to be a terrific game, number three versus number 16. North Carolina has played pretty well throughout this year, beat Stanford, UNLV, and lost a close game on a buzzer beater to Texas, whereas Iowa haven't really played m many people. They're going to get their first real test this week at home. That helps Iowa a lot. I am going to take North Carolina on the road. I like their chances against Iowa. I think they bring more depth to the table, which is very important in college basketball. So I think North Carolina should be able to win this game. Um, it will be close, though. I know I have this, I know I have them winning by nine, but that's mostly because of like the foul shots at the end of the game. This will be really, really close. Keep your eyes peeled for this game. It'll be a good one. Ohio State, Notre Dame. Notre Dame is just not very good in basketball. Ohio State ranked. I think I think Ohio State's overrated, but they're definitely better than Notre Dame. They probably have the least distance to travel out of anybody in this, um, probably. So I'll take, uh, we'll take Ohio State, Virginia Tech, and Penn State. A lot of people love Penn State in basketball, and I don't know why they were really good last year. Like I had them in my Final Four or something last year. They were really good last year. But, you know, who's been really good this year is Virginia Tech. They went out, they beat Villanova. They've been looking great. Probably the best team in Virginia, although Richmond might have something to say about that. Um, but they're definitely better than little brother Virginia. More on them in a minute. God, I'm so excited to play them. Um, but, yeah, I think Virginia Tech should be able to get this one done at home. I'm not really seeing much that I like out of Penn State just yet. Maryland and Clemson, a lot of people are telling me Maryland needs to be ranked. They need to be in my bracketology. A lot of Maryland fans uh, that watch the channel don't know much about either of these teams, but I'm going to uh, believe in my Maryland fans and believe that they can get this one done for the Big Ten. They should have no problems with Clemson. Michigan, boy, did y'all grab an easy matchup with this one. What do you guys like? The fifth best team in the Big Ten, and you get the eighth best team for the S from the ACC. They pay. They get NC State at home. NC State at home. You better win this game. Um, Michigan draws a very easy matchup. They should have no problems uh, with uh, with the Wolfpack. Um, give me Michigan big. Uh, Georgia Tech and Nebraska. Georgia Tech. Wow. 
and they beat Kentucky. Not only did they beat Kentucky, they throttled Kentucky. They threw them to the side of the road. Um, I mean, they just completely just ran them out of the building. Um, and Nebraska, uh, not as good as Kentucky. Georgia Tech looking pretty good. Not in the bracketology just yet. But if they prove, I think if they win this game and they keep winning, they will get themselves a spot. They did lose to the little brother Georgia State first game of the season. But I definitely like uh, what I'm seeing out of Georgia Tech and Kentucky. They're in danger of falling out of the bracketology. A loss to Richmond, Kansas, and Georgia Tech. They're one and three. Will they be in my bracketology when the update comes out? Who knows? Right now, they are a plan. Absolute embarrassment to, uh, to college basketball. Um, is is that so we're eight games through and currently one two three four five the acc currently has a lead in the challenge they are up five to three according to my qbs rankings but we're far from over we've got some big boys coming up the michigan state spartans my michigan state spartans they have looked great Throughout the course of this year, beat Eastern. They're five and zero. Oh, they beat Eastern Michigan, Notre Dame, throttled Duke at their home stadium. Cameron Indoor came in, beat the beat the brakes off of them. Um, struggle win against Detroit Mercy, and then they beat Western Michigan yesterday by I think eighteen points. So they're looking great. How's Virginia been doing? Um, who they beat to open up the season? Towson. Nice, nice, good win there. And then you lost. To San Francisco, you lost to the Dons, Virginia. You cannot be serious. You think you're a contender? Oh, jeez. There will be a hype and hate coming for this video. I am so excited to play Virginia. Man, there's so much hype and hate potential. I can't let this matchup go to waste. Uh, they like to play that little defense pack line. Can't score against it unless, uh, besides San Francisco, who just shoots threes all day. They're able to beat you like that. Spoiler alert, Michigan State had some three-point shooters. Rocket Watts will have an absolute field day. And Michigan State plays some pretty good defense of their own. They're always near the top in these defensive efficiency rankings. They're generally one of the better teams in the country. Remember the last time you played a Big Ten team? What was that, Purdue and Mackey? Y'all lost 70-40. to 40. It's going to be a similar train incoming. Michigan State is going to beat the life out of you. They're just going to beat you down. Um, it, 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 the first of 50 points is going to win this game. Yes, Virginia's defense is good. I don't have Michigan State putting up a ton of points, but you can't score. You guys have no idea how to run an offense. You can't score. This team was taken to overtime by Kent State. Jeez, man, this is going to be a fun game to watch. There will be a stream, and there will be a hype and hate coming for this game. Indiana and Florida State. This is a close one, but I'm going to take Florida State at home. I think they're the better team, and I think they're and they're at home, so helps out. The two bottom feeders from both conferences, Pitt and Northwestern. Did y'all lose to St. Francis this year? Pitt, hello, St. Francis. Can't be losing to them if you're an ACC team. Give me Northwestern. Louisville and Wisconsin. Now, as of now, this game is postponed because because coronavirus is a thing. Uh, yes, it still exists. It will not expire in 2021. Although maybe we should have a vaccine sooner rather than later. But this is a great game. I don't know if it's going to be played or not. It says postponed on the calendar, not canceled. If it is played, though, this might be the best matchup. The four best matchups are, are one, two, three, four. Those are the four best ones. This would be a dogfight. Louisville lost a ton of talent from last year, but they're still, uh, they're still up there. They're, they're they're ranked new. They're new to the polls this week. Wisconsin took a tough loss to Marquette. This will be close, but I like the depth that Wisconsin brings. I think they are the better team. They win a close one, real close. Next one, we have Duke hosting their second Big Ten team at home, second top ten Big Ten team at home in the last few weeks. Um, what was this like back-to-back -back home games where you've played a big a top 10 Big Ten team? Oh, no, you played, you played Bellamine. Wow, what a great win for Duke. We beat Bellamine. Um, congratulations, Duker. But uh, we have, you got Illinois uh, coming in town, and I picked Illinois to win the Big Ten in the preseason. I picked Michigan State to finish third. Um, I, I picked I was Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan State, Iowa. Those That was my top four for the Big Ten. 
Um, I picked Michigan State against Duke, and yeah, they came in and they won. Um, Illinois, they have shown some causes for concern in the uh, in their first few games. They uh, had a struggle win over Ohio, beat them by two. But if you guys are out of the loop, when Ohio played Cleveland State uh, the other day, they went on a 40 to nothing run. Shout out to the Ohio Bobcats. They are new to the bracketology. They will be replacing Bowling Green, who I originally had on the Mac. Impressive stuff from the Ohio Bobcats. Um, but, uh, Illinois, they lost a close one to Baylor. I know the score didn't look close, but that was a good game throughout most of the part. Illinois had the lead for a majority of that game. That was a great bracket month game. Duke, uh, Baylor was just too much at the end. Duke, they did not look like their normal selves against Michigan State. They don't really have a true superstar on their team. Um, Jordan Goldwire played bad. Couldn't find him on a map. Uh, milk carton alert for Jordan Goldwire. Uh, Matthew Hurt, only guy that bothered to show up to the Michigan State game. Um, your defense played well, but you couldn't score. Um, uh, I, I think Illinois is going to win this game. This will be a very good game on the road. Illinois will definitely have their hands full, but I think Io Desuma will be the best player on the court at all times. He is a top five player in the country, and Kofi Coburn is a great sidekick for him. I think Illinois is going to pull away in this game. Um, Duke already proved they couldn't handle it. Michigan State don't know how they're going to handle Illinois. Give me the fighting Illini. So that puts the Big Ten ACC Challenge currently, for the people wondering about the standings, that puts it at 7-6. to six. So if the ACC wants a draw, they're going to have to have the Syracuse Orange pull off an upset against the Rutgers Scarlet Knights, and I don't see that happening. Rutgers, very good team. Uh, Geo Baker is a stud. Uh, and Syracuse just not the program they once were. They're going through a pretty big little down spot. They were an 11 seed a few years ago, beat Michigan State, and then they haven't made the tournament since then, I don't think. Been a bit of a rough patch for Syracuse. Um, hopefully they can get back on track, but I think Rutgers will have the edge of this one. So I have the Big Ten winning the Big Ten ACC Challenge. Eight games to six. Hopefully they do end up winning so I can put, keep pushing the narrative that the Big Ten's the best conference in college basketball. And that that's why Michigan State had six losses is because they're playing gauntlet opponents every week. And I really hope that I will be rooting for every Big Ten team except Michigan. Um, I will be rooting for all the Big Ten teams except Michigan. Um, so I hope you guys all win. I hope the Big Ten goes 14-0. I don't think that will happen, though. Uh, how many road teams did I pick? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I picked seven road teams. That's that's not characteristic for me. I never pick that many road teams. I usually like going with home teams, but, um, you know, we're picking some road teams. Let me pop back up on the screen for you guys.